Hello, everyone. This is uh, Reza Shokri from the Computer Science Department of National University of Singapore. And I'm going to talk about uh, very briefly about an emerging research area under the umbrella of trustworthy machine learning. When we look at machine learning algorithms, the major objective of the algorithms is to maximize the average accuracy of the models on new data, given the patterns that they have uh, extracted from the training data. And this could be used in different applications and different technologies for uh, natural language processing, for image processing, could be used in health tech uh, for uh, self-driving cars and so on and so forth. However, maximizing the average accuracy over data is not the only uh, requirement that we have from machine learning models, especially in uh, critical decision-making processes. The question that we're asking is whether uh, machine learning algorithms are robust, whether they are privacy preserving, uh, are they interpretable, are they fair? With respect to different subgroups. In general, we want to know whether they are trustworthy. Unfortunately, machine learning algorithms are uh, very vulnerable to different types of attacks. An adversary who is making small, subtle uh, changes to the data, whether during the training or during the test time, can influence the model significantly in order to make decisions based on the adversary's objective. So making changes in some image or in uh, your voice signal can lead to error in reconstructing information about the data or to classify them correctly. In fact, if you look at the decision boundaries of the, the model, they are very malleable. Uh, by adding few data points which are adversarially crafted to the training data, you can change the decision boundary such that uh, the adversary would uh, force the model to make errors in certain areas in, in, the, in the input space. Or uh, during the test time, because of the complicated decision boundaries of modeling complex uh, models such as neural networks, by finding a, uh, a very uh, small change in a particular direction in the data, you would be able to cross the boundary and force the model to uh, misclassify the data, to bypass, for example, some security checks. The models also leak a ton of information about their training data. So if an adversary has access to the model predictions or the model parameters, which are trained on some sensitive training data, would be able to reconstruct a lot of uh, information about the, the individual records in the training set. For example, the adversary can tell whether your data has been part of the training set or not, or to reconstruct some sensitive attributes about the, the data that was used in the training set. And this is a, this is a very serious uh, threat against privacy because uh, we want the models to extract general patterns about their training set that could be generalized to data outside the training data. Uh, but uh, we see that because of a certain memorization that happens during the training, uh, the models actually remember sensitive information that could be later on extracted by uh, some attacks. And we have shown that these attacks can work on, on existing algorithms and also on machine learning as a service platforms, which are out there. And many people might use uh, by uh, uploading their sensitive data. Also machine learning algorithms are getting more complex and they are extracting patterns from the data which are not very understandable and hard to explain why the model comes up with a certain decision. And uh, in critical decision-making processes, it's very important that the decision that the model has made is actually very aligned with the semantic of the task. But unfortunately, because we are just maximizing the accuracy of the model, the model would just pick any uh, relative, uh, rel uh, relevant signal in the data that could help it to, uh, to do the classification without having an understanding of the semantic of the task. So what we want to know is 
what are the influential features in the data or what are the influential data points that uh, help the model to, to come up with a particular decision? And, and what are the decision rules if uh, we are gonna use this in, in some uh, particular application? Also, because the, the models try to maximize the accuracy over the whole training data, what happens is that the majority would uh, have a significant influence on the decision rules that are extracted by the model. And therefore, if there is a minority group, which is as relevant as the majority group, but has smaller uh, portion of the training set, then it's gonna be ignored. And the, the decisions made by the model is gonna be, are gonna be uh, discriminatory against the minority group. Or if there are some type of bias in the training data, they would be uh, influencing the, the, the model and the model is gonna be uh, biased against uh, the data at the test time. So all these issues against machine learning are not specific to one particular algorithm or one particular setting. They are not also specific to training a single model. Now there is this emerging technologies for training uh, decentralized uh, models. And we'll see that uh, the same kind of attacks, the same kind of concerns apply to this decentralized and federated learning setting. Data could be biased, uh, adversaries might inject noise, uh, uh, which are crafted in order to add some type of uh, backdoor decision rules into the model or, or damage the accuracy of the model. And participants who receive information about the others might uh, run inference attacks to extract sensitive information about other participants' data. So what we are working on is to come up with uh, rigorous algorithms to analyze and protect uh, trust in machine learning. And that involves protecting privacy of data, protecting robustness of the models, uh, training models which are more interpretable or design algorithms that help us to explain decisions by the model. And also try to understand the, the fairness issues in machine learning algorithms and uh, train algorithms which are fair and at the same time accurate. We are also very interested in data privacy in general. We are working on uh, differential privacy uh, mechanisms. Uh, we are working on algorithms that can help us to generate synthetic data, which can be uh, provably privacy preserving and at the same time uh, uh, containing the, uh, the, uh, the useful information about the original data. Also, if you want to run some computation on, on encrypted data, uh, there are many challenges that we want to, uh, to address. For example, how to do computation in an efficient manner on encrypted data, for example, for training a machine learning model. And we are also interested in the decentralized uh, and federated learning because uh, it has all the challenges that we talked about uh, under trustworthy machine learning. And uh, it's an emerging technology that uh, we uh, pioneered uh, since a uh, few years ago and uh, we are still working on it. If you are interested in the, this area of research, uh, there, is a, there is a website that we have created uh, which is a school for all seasons on trustworthy ML. It contains uh, many core papers in this uh, area of research, uh, tutorials and talks, which are out there and we'll keep uh, updating it uh, so that if a student wants to start understanding what this area is about, uh, the, she can find the, the right papers uh, as the starting points. All right, uh, thanks and uh, best wishes in your research 